Today is 4th December 2023. I am at Kotmale Reservoir. You can see the Kotmale Dam, the Rockfield Dam, close to one kilometer long. On the side of it, we get the Kotmale Sp Reservoir Spillway. It's all out of concrete and it dips deep into a pit then it comes up again after losing a lot of energy it goes gushes down and then finally connects to the Kotmale river or what we call Kotmale oil and here you can see the beautiful tree cover in that area very nice and then we can also see the uh, enlarged view of Kotmale spilling. So you can see how it spills. An enlarged view. And above that is the forest cover of the Kotmale reservation or the catchment area. But it has a massive catchment area. And it's, uh, this is, uh, dam is located below Upper Kotmale. And at Kotmale, it's at a higher elevation than all the other reservoirs like Victoria, Randanigala, Rantambe, and uh, including Polgoro Baraj. So it's a beautiful view. And this is the maximum I can enlarge it. Today, Kotmale Dam is filling. As you can see here. The power station is underneath, is underground. This is the dam, Rockfield Dam, with a clay core. It's beautiful landscape by the owners, Mahavir Authority. And you can see the catchment area with a lot of trees. And you can see a three wheeler coming on the dam. And water spilling. You might be able to see a little bit of water about. Beyond that, it's full of water and spilling. Beautiful. This is the spillway, and you can see it's spilling. And you can see the shape of the spillway. The water comes down and then it goes above and you can see the water coming rushing down and this is the forest above the dam and that's the forest on the catchment area that is the catchment area and after Sometime it's spilling again today and a lot of water is gushing down. Kotmil Dam constructed by Skanska, the Swedish number one construction company and this reservoir forms some vital parts of Mahaweli multi-purpose scheme of Sri Lanka. Kotmil Reservoir is located downstream of Upper Kotmil Run of the River Hydropower Plant. The water released by Kotmil will be diverted by the Polgala Barrage for irrigation and water supply purposes around City of Kandy. The water spilling the Polgola Barrage will be utilized by Victoria Project, Randanagala Project and Rantambe Project prior to getting diverted at the Anakut located at Minipay for irrigating the dry zone. 
Upper Cut Mail. Cut Mail, Victoria, Randanigala and Rantambe stores a huge quantity of water, and most of this water will finally reach the farmlands of dry zone of Sri Lanka. Mahoweli River multi-purpose scheme had a cost of less than RS 30 billion when it was envisaged as an accelerated project in 1978, was RS-17 those days. Today, we are reaping the benefits of this wonderful project by generating electricity, green power with zero carbon footprint, and a huge quantity of water for irrigation purposes.